Hello guys, it's Sandy and welcome back to my channel. Now today this video is going to be a little different from my other ones. I tried playing Star Question on the computer. Thanks to Bluestacks it is possible to play mobile games on the PC. But I did not expect it to function for this game. Not as well as it did anyway. I decided to start a new character and record all of my progress of the game. This video will jump extremely a lot in time and be all over the place, but I wanted to share with you all what is my opinion of Star Question, especially when played on the PC. Well then, let's get started, shall we? Shoo! At first I was really confused because of all the symbols that was on the screen. I found out rather quickly they could be removed in the settings in Bluestacks, but what surprised me the most was the ability to be able to use the WASD keys to move around, like in most games that is on the PC. A new beginning. A chance to start over. Yet the most important thing? To get yeeted. Once again. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I got a nice starter who wasn't honestly, I did not feel the need to switch it out like I did with my other account. I spent a lot of time with Magnus as I played and I mainly ride him still when I do. At first getting used to it all was a little challenge and since I did not have the joystick active at this moment, the WSD keys did not work and a part of me had forgotten about it. <laughs> Yikes. At this point it already felt easy to play on the PC but that was before, well... All the bushing people appeared! I tried to avoid the starting area after this though, since the game lags more around people. But I'm an introvert potato, duh. Wee! Progress is made, we love! So first time I was doing competition on the PC and I say this, my gosh, what the bush, it was so much easier. I even noticed that later as I entered the higher level competitions. Mainly because I switched to the joystick in the settings to have it in competitions and in the open world. The more I played and got used to things like speeding up, clicking with the mouse and steering with WASD, it almost felt like I was playing any other game on the PC, as I normally do. I started to compare more and more to Star Stable Online and I just kept thinking, I like this game more, even though Star Question was not built for the PC function so well as it is. I tried to give this character a cool vibe, but sadly, being cool had to wait. I want to try and progress in this story as quick as possible. I played most of 4 hours straight to around 2 to 4 am. And for the first time, I saw the horse buying with the gems area. Eh, uh, nope, ain't happening. I am the type of potato that gets super into a game for a period of time, leaves it, and if I ever go back to it, I get stuck again. This game got me hooked on the PC way more than during the time I played on my iPad. Clearing the race early on is not hard, but it felt better for some reason this time around. More gems we love, no. Gosh, such a hard work in Magnus. I decided since I knew I was gonna play many hours a day for a period of time, I want to save up my gems to do the gacha in big opening sessions. Definitely not giving me a side eye lol. During when I played, this set was active. I really wanted this one, but Mustangs are a little difficult for me since the attack usually looks off on them. Well, that was a lot of trash. <laughs> of course, the same outcome for the regular gotcha. Now it was time to finally make my character look <coughs> cool. cool. And I didn't have enough money. So the first thing that came to mind was... Buy gems! That was the first time I spent money on this save and it was worth it. Jackpot! I for sure did not expect to get this one right after. What a bush. 
after that I was back to being the wonderful regular trash like my brain cells. I best to look fancy though at night. Dancer was nice too. Gosh, during this time I just stood here doing nothing but competitions for 30 plus minutes. After a while I decided to take a break from it after 30 plus pushing minutes, like I mentioned, and do some gathering instead. Finally I managed to get to do the race I was supposed to do to move on with the questline. I hated looking for the horseshoes this first time. Do you guys think I liked it the second time? Do you? If you said yes, yeets you into a bush. Of course, when it was time for the quest to find a watermelon, I had as the dumb potato I am already been doing a lot of gathering. In other words, it took me 30 plus minutes to find a bushing watermelon. Man, this looks so cute here. And then it was time to take care of the neglected ranch that I always keep forgetting that I have. Thanks, Joy, for reminding me by forcing me to take care of it. No, would you look at that? More gotcha. I spend way more time in here than I want to admit. My game was actually up earlier since I had no connection, so I had to restart it before, so it was running better now. Me trying to make the house look good though. But, uh, no. Still not quite there. Huh. I am defeated. I surrender. White flag. Pause. Freeze. Much better than my first attempt though. Look at me. I finally found the zooming function on the PC. Took me long enough. I have built all this time far away. It was a challenge for sure. For some odd reason when I found these paths, I was so fascinated to see how I could make them work around the ranch. In a way, the functions, and I can say, I spent way too much money and time on this. In the end, I found a way that worked out for the time being in a way. The game was having some connection issues, but I was actually broke here. I was supposed to have no coin left, but display bug. I will have to add a stable here in the future. Far in the future. No, it can't be. More gotcha. I definitely did not see that coming. <laughs> well, I did get something cool, so I don't complain, but what is up with all the Mustangs? I swear, I have a Mustang curse. Also the only brother model that looks good on this horse. Big jump to the future, present, time being, I'm not quite sure. But the eclipse set was set out somehow, I have been away from the game for like 20 days or so. A lot of things have changed! There's a whole new feature page here now and a VIP thing, my gosh, here we go with the money grabbing. This one do look cool though, but um, why is it another Mustang? When I entered the game I got 5 silver keys, not sure why, I forgot to read. Maybe it was because of an event or something. It was nice regardless though. Still so just got trashed though. <laughs> when I had done all those things I noticed the game was really laggy and I thought, how come there should not be people around me? Sandy, how naive you are. Long story short, I tried to remove people for so long but for some reason it was not possible anymore. I think you just need to somehow create a server that only I am in or something. Sadly, the biggest catch with playing Star Question is the people. Since they made the game lag, I run the game on the lowest quality on my PC and I still struggles now and then. But maybe this is the biggest issue when you are in the heart of the town. Since I had not played for a while, I was so freaking rusty. Holy schnitzels, it was bad. Let me tell ya. Ouch. I somehow managed to finish the first raid I did after my comeback with minimum issues, but that would change. Soon. 
Also, someone had a lot of food. I don't even remember that. <laughs> Everything is perfect back at the game. The sun is shining at 1am in the morning and well... Um... Oops. Oh no, that is, this is... Ah! <laughs> Sandy, you moldy fluffy potato! What the bush? Yeah, no kidding! <laughs> well, the second time is the charm, as they say, or was it the third time? I honestly don't know anymore. Kinda? Yes, let's go! Okay, you're kidding, right? Really? That VIP is not worth around 60 to 65 euros! Gah! What the bush? Why? Just why? Okay, that is freaking cute though. So since I had been away for a while, I remember why I took a break from playing. <clears throat> because my horse was not able to complete a race in his current stage. The race I only had to complete the finish. Potato brain, read the objective. Still want to steal this horse though, and have as my own. <laughs> Big jump, what happened here lol? All of a sudden I am helping Vanessa lol. Along with treasure hunting, I do like that about this game, that there is so much in the world that you can gather. And explore. I love exploring. So at this point, I am getting to the end of the questline. Well, as far as it has progressed by the making of this video, anyway. The moment you have to give all your money away to tech upgrades. Ow! Nah, it cannot be gotcha. Okay, you know what? I really think this video has 75% gotcha in it. Trash as usual. <laughs> so I was trying to earn ribbons to get access to the hearts of the marathon, or earn enough money to keep upgrading my attack anyway. Lots of grinding. Oh my god, rich! Well, that won't last long, lol. <laughs> yep, I have already burned 90% of that fortune. <laughs> I also have a lot of gems. I swear, the main quest gives you a lot of money. If you guessed, here comes the gacha. Do 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 do. You were correct, but not sure how or why I got this one. Load the face marking, no. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Then here comes the trash fest. La -la -la -la. I'm sorry. Time to clear this marathon after many tries and failures. So I had tried this race many times before. I cleared it. As you all know, this race is a pain in the bush. But so rewarding when you do clear it. At least for me, I did spend way less time at this time compared to the first time I did this. Around here, I was nervous since I had gotten a few okays at the end. In the end, I was screaming loud when I saw the fantastic. I swear that my neighbors heard me. At the end of the line where you go and collect fruits etc for the basket. I had done the same dumb potato mistake again. Earlier during this day, I had collected all the honey. So I had to come back a few days later when I had access to my laptop again. Now take this silly schnitzel basket bulb. I did click random things in the make of this basket, but it does look different from the first one I made. Well, that was the main quest line for now. Happy jumps! Let's see how long it takes to see the continued version. We will get to that in a second, but first, gotcha! Gotcha! Okay, so I decided to do some of the building quest lines since I had a lot of coins, I want to make this place more. Cozy. Finally adding that stay boss that won the double one but for this small place I do not mind. I had a small idea what I kinda wanted since I had laid out the road a long time ago. It helped me with the layout in the end. So nice. So mainly I was decorating, but I also put the house in my inventory by accident, so I have to redecorate it. Of course, I was trying to clear the steps of the quest as well. Me want those gems! Money, 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 money!
I think it looks way better than it did before. Well, I am not done yet, but it is finally starting to look like I wanted it to. Also, I had the famous paint bars. I could not buy two paints at the same time. I had to leave the ranch completely and come back to buy it once again. Also, during the time of Andy's part, I have gotten obsessed with Sims 4 again. If you remember what I said earlier that I get obsessed with a game for a certain period of if I come back to it, that is me and Sims 4 at the moment, especially with the Realm of Magic expansion pack. Also, fun you get back some of the money you spent, lol. But I cannot finish this now, bird. Speed building montage. Drrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr